I think now we have a whole group of students that is going to consider senior living as a career option. Otherwise, they would never have considered it. Now that they've been exposed to it, they have an enthusiasm and, and a, a real passion for something that they didn't even know existed. I first met Granger Cobb when Bill Pettit brought him to the party. So our conversation started with Jerry Meyer. Uh, then in the spring of 2011, Bill Pettit separately actually kind of reached out to us to get us to think about this. And suddenly Bill uses his influence as the CEO at Merrill to bring together Tana Gall, who at the time was the president of Leisure Care. He looped in Jerry Meyer and then Granger Cobb as the CEO of Emeritus. And Emeritus was the largest senior living company in the country. So that was a bunch of heavy hitters from the Puget Sound area, all at the same table. Granger was, he was an infectiously enthusiastic person who loved people and who trusted and believed in people and really brought out the best in people and made them believe in themselves. He was that kind of leader. So to have Granger's name associated with the Institute for Senior Living that was about preparing and training future leaders, I think to many folks that knew Granger well, made all the sense in the world and would, was a fitting way to do two things, honor the incredible legacy of Granger Cobb, but also meet a real need in our industry. The Institute has grown, it has developed, it started as a very simple idea as an elective class. We had big thoughts, big dreams, not sure we could pull any of it off and here we are but it has grown into an academically recognized unit on our campus uh, with several initiatives underneath it related to education, research, service, and just absolutely coming in at the right time in the industry. As we look to the future, it will not be more of the same. And what the Institute is all about is helping to really anticipate, plan for, and then prepare leaders to deliver that new product that's going to serve this enormous demand, which is going to be coupled with very real social challenges. We were kind of first to market in the area of being a, a program that is A, operationally focused, but B, housed in a hospitality school. That is super unique. Uh, and then to couple that with being a hospitality school in an accredited college of business, that makes our program quite unique and it gives our students the, the solid business fundamentals that they need plus that layer of hospitality plus then these other issues related to aging and seniors that to me is a perfect blend of a program. It's a practical focus of the Institute. In other words, there are some really good schools that focus on policy, but we need people who are going to hit the ground running, actually creating and designing the products and therefore the companies, they're gonna meet the housing and care needs and the lifestyle needs of boomers in the future. I really see the Institute as what I hope will be one of many centers that will be part of creating this future. And to create the future, you gotta have the people that are gonna create it. I visit my mom at Bishop Place every day that I'm in town, and if I'm not traveling, sometimes it's, it's multiple times a day. And as I'm there, now that I'm seeing it from the inside out, I, I just marvel. I look around and I watch the care and the attention people there give those residents. I mean, it's amazing. But I think about the opportunities for our students and where they can go. And this is a generation of students who want very purpose-driven work and meaningful work. And wow, if you have a passion for seniors in this population, what could be more purpose-driven than helping people like my mom age with the dignity that she deserves? When one graduates from this program, you haven't just had book classroom learning. You've had practical experiences. You've been in communities. You've seen things that excited you. And then I would hope also seen things where you said, Boy, that's something I would want to change. We need you if you think that way.